The Pie Guy. It's a self-appointed name where I endeavour to smash as many pies down my guts from all over Australia. And if you remember earlier in this episode, we mentioned the Acurse Bakery in Blaney. It's just outside of Orange. And this bakery has actually been flagged with us about a hundred times on social media. So the Acurse Bakery in Blaney, as requested by a bunch of people uh, on the Food Dudes Facebook page, which you can join by the way, and uh, look at that, a chicken curry pie. Uh, it's got sesame seeds on top, and uh, I love a good chicken pie. Let's see how this guy goes. Ooh, nice and hot. Kick a curry straight away. That's not bad. Not bad. You can send your requests to our Facebook page and we'll always be happy to try them out. There you go, a chicken curry pie. I always get usually a vanilla slice or maybe a lamo, but I thought I'd just try and branch out and do something different today. So I got a custard tart. That is, um, it's a beautiful looking custard tart. Hmm, that's a custard tart. I love it. Base is moist but firm. A lot of wobble in the custard. Wobble, wobble, wobble. That, I would definitely be back for more of that. Now while in Blaney, we'd heard from some of the locals about this killer joint just up the road in a tiny town called Spring Hill. Spring Hill only has a population of about 500, but the place boasts an absolute cult following on their local feeding trough. I'm at Bella's in Spring Hill, which is not too far outside of Orange. Um, the best part about this place is that it's like a hybrid between a cafe and a post office. Yeah, a cafe and a post office. You wouldn't believe it. In fact, I was struggling to find anything they didn't sell. What did you say to me about the quality of the food? Oh, the quality here. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I, can, I can vouch for that. <laughs> the big breakfast, two slices of toast, baked beans, spaghetti, mushrooms, and a sausage. I should forget the sausage. And a coffee and a glass of water. Anything else? All right, and then I have burger and chips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and another coffee. We get people from Bathurst, from Cowra, from Canoundra, from Blaney, from Orange, obviously, and places I don't even know because they don't tell us. <laughs> they just roll in. Well, let's be real. This is an unusual business model. So not many post offices sell hamburgers, and not many post offices that do sell hamburgers win awards, and we won um, a Triple M award for the best the best hamburger in the Central West. I did notice he was getting a little bit distracted. What is going on up here? So yeah, we're Bella's and we named the shop after Bella, which is Bella, our bird. She obviously don't owns the joint. She does, she runs the place. And here, they really love Bella, but she doesn't always feel the same way about others. Mutters some stuff, I think it's better that she mutters. Bad language. Yeah, yeah, some things. It sounds very suspicious, doesn't it? I don't know where she gets it from. Not me. Now I'd been hearing about these burgers all day and I wasn't leaving until I'd had at least a look at the menu. Anyway, apparently there's a thing called the, the man burger and if it's called the man burger, I've got to give it a try. So come at me, Bellas. This is the man burger. Wow, look at that. What a burger. Look at that, that is gold right there. The man burger. So what is on this glorious creation? I can see there's bacon, I can see there's a beef patty. Is that a homemade beef patty here? Homemade beef patty made on premises. Wow, homemade beef patty, yep. bacon. It's chicken steady. Bit of barbecue sauce, homemade barbecue no, sauce no, too. Nice gravy. gravy. That is gravy too. And exclusive to Bella's, introducing the Mega Pup. It's at least twice the size of your standard Dagwood dog. Look at the size of this thing. It's like. The length of my forearm. That is good. That is good. I don't know if you're aware of Splash Cola, but in uh, Western and regional New South Wales, this stuff is the bomb. Look at that. Oh, it's a good bird. Oh, and the, the bun is spongy. Yeah, that is on point. I've got a cockatoo on my shoulders. <laughs> Will she turn on me? Can't complain, good burger and good company. Well, I can get used to this. Hmm. Oh, she's giving me the butt. This is a good burger. This is, um, man, I don't know if you can see that. The gravy's brilliant. I mean, normally you always, normally most people would have uh, barbecue sauce, but I think the gravy's a really good addition to this. Spring Hill, have you heard of it? I hadn't until this morning. And here I am in Spring Hill, 
and eating an incredible feast from a post office. There you have it, a post office run by a bird.